آد بلّہ من شعیط الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم دل اپنا پاکستان کے ساتھ انتخاب احمد آپ کی خدمت میں تیئیس مارچ کا پروگرام لے کر حاضر ہیں ناظرین تیئیس مارچ پاکستان کی قومی زندگی میں ایک بہت بڑا سگنیفیکنس ڈے ہے پاکستان ریزولیشن انیس سو چالیس میں تیئیس مارچ انیس سو چالیس کو ایڈاپٹ کیا گیا اس کے ساتھ ساتھ پاکستان کی برتھ جو ہے وہ سات سال کے قلیل عرصے میں پایا تکمیل کو پہنچ گئی قوم کا جذبہ ولولا وہ ایک انتہائی قابل ستائش ہے جس میں پاکستانی نیشن جو کہ انڈیا کے مسلمان تھے اور ہیں وہ ان سب نے مل کر ایک جد و جہد کی ایمان اور یقین کے ساتھ اور اس ایمان اور یقین کے ساتھ پاکستان کا حصول ایک خواب لگتا ہے اور آئیے ہم وینکوور بی سی میں پاکستان کونسلیٹ میں ایک تقریب ہوئی ہم اس کا آپ کو آنکھوں دیکھا حال دکھاتے ہیں دیکھتے رہیے وینکوور کی جان دے لپنا پاکستان ناظرین دل اپنا پاکستان کے ساتھ انتخاب احمد آج پاکستانی کانسلیٹ آفیس میں یہاں پہ تیس مارچ کی سیلیبریشن ہوئی اور ان سیلیبریشن میں پاکستان میں یونیٹی اور پیار اور دنیا بھر میں امن کے لیے ہم نے کانسل جنرل صاحب اور ڈیپٹی کانسل صاحب نے بات کی اور میں چاہوں گا کہ کانسل جنرل صاحب کچھ ایک بریف بات کرتے ہیں اپنی قوم کے لیے یہاں کے لوگوں کے لیے آپ کینیڈینز ہیں یو آر کینیڈینز بٹ یو ہیریٹیج ڈونٹ فو گیٹ از پاکستانی آپ اصل میں ہمارے سفیر ہیں یو آر ان ریئلٹی آر امبیسڈر سو پروجیکٹ پاکستان ڈیولپ یونٹی بلڈ برجز آئی وش یو ویل آن دس ٹوینٹی تھرڈ مارچ پاکستان زندہ باد پاکستان زندہ باد ہمارے ساتھ وائس کونسل جنرل صاحب ہے میری ان سے پہلی ملاقات ہے آپ پلیز کچھ بتانا چاہیں گے آپ میسیج دینا چاہیں گے بہت شکریہ جناب جیسا کہ کونسل جنرل صاحب نے کہا میری بھی کچھ ویسی ہی فیلنگ ہے جو کینیڈین پاکستانی ہیں جو پاکستان سے آئے ہیں ان کا یہاں آ کے میں نے جو فیل کیا ہے جو میں نے محسوس کیا ہے وہ یہ ہے کہ ان کے دل پاکستان کے ساتھ آ رہے ہیں پاکستان زندہ باد پاکستان کے ساتھ دل دڑکتے ہیں اور ہمارا دل بھی یہیں پہ رہتے ہوئے بھی ہم پاکستان کے ساتھ کنیکٹڈ ہیں ہم مارک وتھ می مارک از ٹریڈ یا ایفیلیٹڈ وتھ ٹریڈ یس وتھ دی پاکستان ویسٹرن کینیڈین ٹریڈ ایسوسیشن اینڈ دی کونسل جنرل از دی پیٹرن اف دس ایسوسیشن اینڈ آلسو بشرا از اور ونڈرفل پریزیڈنٹ And so it's a privilege for me. It's, I'm very proud to be invited from the middle of the prairies, from Saskatchewan, and specifically Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, uh, to be here at the consulate and celebrate this auspicious day with each and every one of you. I want to wish you all the best to each of you and your families, much health, happiness, and above all, that as the Consul General has already said, that we may build bridges and do not only good business, but good community together. Good community together. And community is not complete without uh, our women's. Women are participating and uh, she's competing with four men over here. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> Bushra, you want to say something about it? Yes, I will say something about it. I will say something about Pakistani, Canadian Pakistani. Thank you for your introduction. Yes, I represent the Consulate of Pakistan, Canadian Trade Association, as a first president of Pakistan, Canadian Trade Association, as a first president. And it's, it's a privilege and an honor to be here. That's a surprise for us. Anyway, it's a good news for all the Pakistanis uh, around the world. Now, Lepna Pakistan has been uh, seen everywhere. Uh, I would like you to join hands wherever you are. Uh, be Pakistani and uh, be sincere to where you are working with those countries. Keep watching the Lepna Pakistan. Thank you. Thank you very much. The Lepna Pakistan program in British Columbia, Canada, میں ان کے لیے بڑا شکر گزار ہوں کہ ساری خدمات کے لیے کہ جو کمیونٹی کے لیے اردو کمیونٹی کے لیے اور ہماری جو ساؤتھ ایشین کلچر کمیونٹی ہے اس کے لیے جو خدمت کر رہے ہیں اس کے لیے بہت شکر گزار ہیں 
Sundays at 3.30 p.m., Dil Afna Pakistan brings you Canadians with roots in Pakistan and features community information and entertainment. I am Ghulam Hussain, Vice Counsel. Uh, keeping in view the principle of austerity and given the COVID situation at hand, you are welcome to the Consulate General of Pakistan in Vancouver for a limited but graceful event commemorating the 82nd Pakistan Day in its 75th year of independence. I would invite now uh, Mr. Ghulam Muhammad for recitation from the Holy Quran. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إذا جاء نصر الله والفتح ورأيت الناس يدخلون في دين الله أفواجا فسبح بحمد ربك واستغفر إنه كان توابا Sadaq Allah Allah. Now, National Anthem of Pakistan. I would request all of you to a kind of the honor do nishane azme ali shah arze pakistan malk ze yakeen shah aad sar damizna hukumate hukumate awa komol sultan paina ta binda ba shah bad manzil now I will read out messages from the President and the Prime Minister of Pakistan. Message from Dr. Arif Alvi, President of the Islamic Republic of Pakistan. Pakistan Day is a, mark, is a landmark day in the history of the subcontinent on many counts. On this day in 1940, the Muslims changed their demand from separate, separate electorates to a separate state, made it clear to the British that uh, partition of the subcontinent could not be delayed any further, and the Congress was not a representative party of the Muslims. On this historic day, therefore, it becomes our duty to pay homage to the founding father of this nation for taking timely and prudent political decisions. The demand for a separate homeland for Muslims has proved to be politically correct over time. The unlawful accession of Jammu and Kashmir with India, denying the right to self-determination to Kashmiris, human rights violation in the valley, forcible disappearances, persecution of minorities, communication blockade, and extrajudicial killing are sufficient ground to believe that the leadership of that time 
had clearly visualized what was in store for them if they had remained at the mercy of the Hindu majority in undivided India. Achieving national freedom is considered as half work done in such struggles, the remaining half being crucial for a state's security and stability is equally important. This includes blending of various ethnic and majority and minority groups into a single nation, ensuring the supremacy of law, curbing differences on the basis of social and class status, eliminating terrorism and internal disturbances, achieving economic growth, promoting good relations with the world, especially with the neighboring countries, and above all, protecting human rights of all the citizens of the state. The tasks are achievable. The way the Pakistani nation has overcome polio, COVID-19, uh, there remains no doubt that the challenges which Pakistan is facing now can be addressed by the collective efforts of all. The day will not be far away when Pakistan becomes an economically strong and prosperous country. We need to stand united and collectively, collectively work for the unity and socio-economic development of the country to materialize the dream of our forefathers. May Allah be with us all. Amen. 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 No message uh, from Mr. Imran Khan, Prime Minister of the Islamic Republic of Pakistan on the occasion of Pakistan Day 23rd March 2022. Quote. 23rd March is the day to renew our commitment to adhere to the principles of justice and equality, the real objective of the creation of Pakistan. Today, we pay tribute to the father of the nation and all the leaders of the freedom movement who struggled for uniting the nation through their unparalleled sacrifice. It is important for our youth to note that Pakistan came into being through a long democratic struggle. And now the key to its stability and development also lies in hard work, honesty, and morality. While commemorating this day, we need to adhere to the principle of unity, faith, and discipline given by Qaeda Muhammad Ali Jinnah, and rededicate ourselves to development to develop Pakistan as a truly democratic welfare state on the model of Riyasat e Madhya. On this day, it is pertinent to reflect upon the challenges confronting us as a nation. Our government has brought in long-term reforms and initiatives to elevate poverty and promote justice. Our focus remains on the marginalized segment of the society and to provide them equal opportunity. Kamyab Pakistan program offers huge economic benefits for the youth, farmers, small-scale businesses, and low-cost housing sector. Our flagship initiative of Qaumi Sehat Card will provide universal health coverage to all citizens. This is unprecedented in the history of our country. We are now on the path to regain our past glory that was disrupted by previous regime who gave importance to self-interest rather than national interest and welfare of the people. The struggle to eliminate corruption and important moral standard would require the same persistence as our founding father preserved during the freedom movement. I pray to Allah Almighty to bless us with the strength to follow in the footprints of our great forefathers. Pakistan, find the Unquote. So I would uh, invite Council General Mr. Jambaz Khan for his remarks. Assalamu alaikum, ladies and gentlemen. Assalamu alaikum to all the Pakistani community in Western Canada. This day, the day of days, reminds us of the dedication and determination of Muslims of the subcontinent who, in one voice, declared their wish of independence on 23rd March 1940. They stood up as one nation under one flag following the sagacious and visionary leadership of our founding father, Qaid Azam Muhammad Ali Jinnah, and embarked upon a sacred journey, not only to declare independence from British rule, but to find a separate homeland for the Muslims of the then 
United India. The journey culminated in Islamic Republic of Pakistan on August 14, 1947. Today we celebrate 82nd National Day in our 75th year of independence. Today is one of the today Pakistan is one of the largest countries in the world, second largest Islamic nation, fourth largest cotton producing country, fifth largest milk producer, ninth largest wheat producer, and twelfth largest rice producer. It is home to one of the oldest civilization which this world has seen, the Indus Valley Civilization. It has the unique honor and the unique geographical situation where three mountain ranges converge here, which is the Karakoram, the Hindu Kush, and the Himalayas. Pakistan has the world's largest canal irrigation system and has been blessed with world-class natural resources, which include largest rock salt deposits, and huge deposits of coal, copper, gold, to name but a few. The true essence of Pakistan, however, ladies and gentlemen, is its 220 million talented, hardworking and proud people. Like the creation of Pakistan was in an achievement of millions of dedicated individuals, the transformation of Pakistan into an emerging political and economic power, not only in the region but internationally as well, is due to hard work and extra, extraordinary talent of millions of present-day Pakistani residing both in Pakistan and abroad, from farmers to soldiers, doctors to engineers, politicians to civil servants, teachers to scientists, businessmen to industrialists, and most importantly, Pakistanis who live abroad, each and everyone has played a pivotal central role in nation building process of our beloved country. My dear countrymen, Pakistan is proud of its expatriate Pakistani community. The country deeply appreciates and honors your contributions, which are not only included in the progress and prosperity of Canada, but through your continued commitment, contributes also towards development of your homeland, Pakistan. <laughs> There is no doubt that Pakistani community plays an instrumental role in projecting Pakistan in a positive manner, politically and economically. You all are the true ambassadors of Pakistan, and Pakistan thank you all for being its wonderful representatives. It must be emphatically underscored that while you are Canadians, your heritage is and always will be Pakistan. You are custodians of legacies of Canada and Pakistan. Let us make a resolve today that while being a law-abiding and loyal citizen to Canada, you will continue to care for Pakistan and work for its better image and its promotion in your respective areas. Pakistan community in Canada, Pahindabad, Pakistan, Zindabad. Thank you. Dilapna Pakistan, jo program hai. British Columbia, Canada, I am very grateful for all the support for the community, for the Urdu community, and for our South Asian culture community, which is doing the work for them. I am very grateful for all the support for them, and today we are going to be with them. Thank you. Thank you. Today, we are our special guest, Mr. John of Pakistan, John Baz Khan Sahib, की मौजूदगी में और उनके लिए खास तौर पे पाकिस्तान के लिए उनके लिए ट्रिब्यूट है और ये नवीन अब्बा जो है मैदियस मुखासा साहब ने इसको ओरिजिनली गाया है और आप सब के लिए परफॉर्म करने जा रहे हैं
इस महफिल के लिए सारी पाकिस्तानी कम्युनिटी के लिए पी सी सी ए के लिए दिल अपना पाकिस्तान के लिए और ख़ास तौर पर हम शुक्रगुजार हैं इन प्यारे दोस्तों के म्यूजिशंस जो आज शाम हमारे साथ स्टेज पर थे मेरे लेफ्ट साइड पर अपने लवली सुरजीत लवली भाई जो कीबोर्ड कीबोर्ड पर थे उनके भी शुक्रगुजार और जसविंदर भाई के शुक्रगुजार हैं तबले पर और केसू राम अपने केसी भाई साहब के लिए शुक्रगुजार हैं आपके तरफ के और भाई सरगम के शुक्रगुजार हैं जो दिल बुरा हमारे साथ शुक्रिया और हम सब आप पूरी टीम के सर शुक्रगुजार हैं तहे दिल से वाह थैंक यू वेरी मच आपकी बहुत बड़ी प्यारी आवाज थैंक यू सर